Royalty. Good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topic and deliberate on them scripturally to ascertain the mind of God and how we should respond to those areas that we have looked at. In so doing, we are able to answer those questions that have lingered over the years that seem to have defied answers and the Lord giving us a new direction as we continue to listen. This morning, we are going to be looking at adapt and adaptable. What does it mean to adapt? What does it mean to be adaptable? So we are looking at it this morning. And the first question we are asking is, how do I best adapt to change? How can I best adapt to changes? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. In Daniel chapter 2 verse 21, the Bible says what? He controls the course of world events. He removes things and sets up other kings. He removes kings and sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. Act 1 verse 7, the Bible says, He replied, He replied, The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. Then in Matthew chapter 24, verse 32 to 33, the Bible says, Now learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches board and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see all these things, you can know its return is very near, right at the door. Praise the Lord. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, the Bible said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Now what do we get from that? It is wise to adapt to the cycle of change. When we recognize life season, we will be more equipped to adapt to them. But in adapting to change, we must not compromise the changeless truth in life. Though our God orchestrates many changes in our world, our lives and our hearts, He Himself remains the same. Alright, so in James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, the Bible says, Dear brethren and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity to, for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Alright, so in, in, in Romans chapter 5, 3 to 5, the Bible says, when we, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strength, uh, strengthens our confidence, hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our heart with His love. What are we saying in this place also is that times of trouble which lead to testing of our faith and the increasing of our endurance help to strengthen our character, deepen our relationship with God, and prepare us for whatever the future holds. Instead of giving up in times of change and challenge, we can seek to grow. Praise the Lord. I want to stop here at this time. And I believe that you have had you have understood what we are trying to say, that you need to adapt, we need to be adaptable to the situation, environment, but time and season will help us to understand what God is saying and what God wants at the time. And many of us have been saying, oh, this is the end time, this is this, and we say a whole lot of things, but then, can we really trace those things that we are saying to the word of God or what God is saying about us? So we need to understand God so we cannot follow Him. Praise the Lord. 
Even the Bible made us understand that the time and season nobody knows. So how then some of us still claim that we know when God is returning? Understand? But with these things that the scripture is saying, we're able to align ourselves and our lives to it and say, okay, probably this is what God is saying at this time. May God bless us as we have heard this word this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage those who really want to acknowledge God who have been, you know, trying to make things out for their own selves. But you want to rely and put your life in God's hand and say, Lord, I want you to run this course for me. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul. Save me from damnation. I am tired of this life that I'm living, but I want to hand over my life to you this morning. Please breathe on me the breath of life. Delete my name from the book of death. Write it back in the book of life. Lord, give me a fresh start and a new beginning. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Satan, take your feeding hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life is not in your hand. It belongs to God and he has taken over from today. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again. If you have prayed this prayer with me, I want to congratulate you and encourage you to continue to abide by the things that you have heard this morning. There are a whole lot of series that have been prepared down and many of them are coming that the Lord has prepared to bless your life. And as you continue in it, you will never miss your track in the name of Jesus Christ. For many the viewers all over the world, I want to encourage you, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will continue to bless you. As you are giving your attention to what God is doing here, the Lord will increase you on all sides. And it will take you to heights that are higher than you in the name of Jesus. Keep sharing this message. Let it go viral. The world is our target and we'll get there in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for celebrating with me. May God continue to endow you even as you, uh, as you continue to share this message. And as we meet again tomorrow, I pray to God Almighty that the Lord will beautify your peace. In Jesus' name.